Hello everyone, you're tuned in with Coach Calvin, aka the Game Changer of Education, and I am back in the building today to show you all how to play a new version of NBA Math Hoops called the Advanced NBA Math Hoops game. So to get started here, um, first I want to show you what it looks like. So this is the advanced version of NBA Math Hoops. And if you notice, there are, are many more numbers that are on the other side of this game board here, which is the basic game. So when you have it on the side that has uh, all of the numbers and the dotted lines, you're on the right side. So to go ahead and get started today, um, I'm going to be walking you all through three different things. One, I'm going to show you how to use the shot planner. Um, I'm going to show you how to start the game and I'm going to show you how to use the ball on number. So with that being said, uh, this is the shot planner that you will be using to do the math uh, for the game. So it looks a little bit different than the, than the basic game, uh, but as you can tell, you know, there's more squares here. Uh, so pretty much there's a little bit more math that you're gonna be working on with the advanced game. That's why it's called the advanced game. So. Um, now, I want to show you how to actually start the game. So, of course, you're going to start the game the same way that you would start the regular Math Hoops game, the basic game, with the jump ball. Of course, you, each team would roll one die. And at this time, I just uh, rolled two of the same numbers. So I'm going to do it again. And uh, I have an eight and a five. So the eight is going to start first on the even side of the court because the court is broken up into even and odd side. So we're gonna start on the even side of the court today for this tutorial. And, um, and the, even, the even side uh, won the tip off. So the game will start just like a normal game. I'm gonna go ahead and roll the dice. I rolled a four and a two here. So I'm gonna write right here four and two because those are the numbers that I generated. Now, Four plus two is six, four minus two is two, four times two is eight, and when you divide, you get two. So, just like a normal game, you'd start off just like that. We're not doing anything else after the, uh, when we take our first turn. So now, I'm gonna choose where I'm gonna take a shot. I'm gonna take a shot with my number, I'm gonna use number two which is a three point shot with my purple card. So let me use my purple card, which is Harrison Barnes. And I'm gonna put my player token right on that spot right there. And I'm gonna hold the spinner up so that you can see it. Three pointer, let's see if I can make the first shot. And I missed it. <laughs> That's all right. That happens in the game. So now, I'm going to write my ball on number on the next area right here. I'm gonna write two just like that because that's the number where I took my shot from. So now my opponent is gonna roll the dice and has to use that ball on number. And let me show you how that's done. So now I roll the dice. Uh, we're on the odd side of the court now and the two numbers that were that I got were four and two. It's funny, I rolled the same numbers twice. So four and two are the numbers. Now I'm gonna do the same thing. Four plus two is six, four minus two is two, four times two is eight, and when you divide, you get two. Okay, so now here's where it gets fun. The next row, I have to add those numbers. So I'm going to use my ball on number while adding though. So six plus two is eight. Two plus two is four. Two plus eight is 10. And two plus two is four. Just like that. I'm using my ball on number to generate numbers from the very top. So my next row is subtraction now. So six, six minus two is four, two minus two is zero, 
eight minus two is six and two minus two is zero. Just like that. Now the next row is multiplication. So six times two is 12. Two times two is four. Eight times two is 16. And two times two is four. So that row is now done. And the final row is division. So six divided by two uh, is three. Two into two is one. Two into eight is four. And two into two is also one. So now we've completed all of the numbers. Everything is done here. And we are now on the odd side of the court. So I need to find an odd number here. And the only odd number that I see, oh, actually, I see one and three. I see two odd numbers. So one and three are my options that I can take a shot on the odd side of the court. And I'm going to find where one is. One is right here, and it's a three-point shot. But if you look here, I can pass it to this player if I want to. So I would want to look at my stats and see which player has the better stats. And the three is on this side and it's yellow. And if you look, I can pass it into the green player with, that, with those dotted lines. So I'm gonna go for the number one uh, with my purple card. And I'm gonna take a shot with Harrison Barnes. I'm gonna put my player token right on that spot there. And I'm gonna try to see if I can make a three pointer with Harrison Barnes. And it's no good. <laughs> All right. So I just walked you through how to start the game, how to use the shot planner, and how to use the ball on number. Stay tuned. Next week, I'll be back with some more rules on how to play the NBA Math Hoops Advanced Game version. All right. Stay safe. And I hope to see everyone next week. Take care.